Hello and welcome to this series where I show and explain how a violin is built. I just finished sounding the instrument for the last time. Now it is completely clean and ready for the next step, that is varnish. In this video, which is the second to last video of this series, I'm going to varnish the violin. I have spoken in several videos about varnishing. So today I'm not going to explain everything, I'm only going to show you what I do and of course what the result is. As you have seen in this video, which is a review of the varnish assortment 1 of Hamro, I have used these varnishes, but I have changed some things. And that is also my advice, if you, want, if you have no experience with varnishing, buy that assortment and the first time that you work work with the, these products as in the instructions that are in the box understand their idea and philosophy and then think about what you would like to change what you didn't like what you would prefer some other kind of products maybe you have experience with other products and change and calibrate the things according to your own desires that is also what i have done I am not going to use all the products that you find in that box. I am going to use a couple and some other things that I have used in the past and I learned when I was studying in Cremona. To varnish my violin I am going to pass four different stages. Sealing, staining, the actual varnish and a layer of coating to protect everything. Now I am going to start with the sealing which will close the wood so there won't go too much varnish into the wood. And I'm going to use this stuff, which is mastic, the rosin, soaked in alcohol. And I have sold as much mastic in the alcohol as much as I need to make it saturate. That means that I have been putting mastic into the alcohol until I saw a small layer forming in the bottom and no more mastic could solve in the alcohol. Then I filtered the excessive away and this is what I'm going to use. Okay, I have passed everything I think. Now I'm going to put it in the drying chamber and not so much because this kind of varnish needs that but it helps it a bit to dry even faster but it will also give a bit more that golden brown color that wood has when it stays in the sun for several months and I like that a lot. There we go. That's it. Sealing the instrument is ready, mastic is dry and the instrument has now that golden brown color that I wanted. Now you can also see the effect of mastic on the wood, on the flaming especially. You see that it is a bit more brilliant. Now I am going to stain it and I am going to use this stain which is the brown water stain of uh, Hamro. I'm going to apply it with the sponge that was in the box of the assortment. I think that they also sell them separately.
The stain is ready, now I will leave it a couple of days to dry completely and then I will start applying the varnish. As soon as the layer was applied, I put the violin in the chamber to dry. I went ahead with the next layers, adding also some color onto the varnish. First red brown and then brown. Between every layer I also sanded the violin.
The violin has reached the color that I like. It is not so easy to show you the exact color on camera, but it is a bit browner and a bit darker than what you can see now. Anyway, now I'm going to sand it for the last time and then apply the final layer, which will be a layer of this coating. And this will protect the instrument and the colored layers that will be underneath it. And for the last time, the violin goes into the chamber. For its last drying session of four hours, as I did between every layer. There we go. So that's it for today's video. This is my procedure to varnish an instrument. In the next video that will be online the 11th of August, that will also be the last video of this series, I'm going to mount the instrument, make the pegs, glue the fingerboard on its place, bridge, tailpiece, the strings, everything that uh, remains. Thank you very much for watching, many thanks to the Patreons for supporting my channel, don't forget to visit my Patreon page, and I will see you next time again. Bye bye!